All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking it out. So we're sitting out here at the range, and uh, um, one of the things I wanted to do while we were out here, because I'm setting up this specific Pacific, specific rifle uh, to be used with a red uh, a dot, either green or red. Uh, I am experimenting, and I want to test the theory out for the 36-yard zero. And that's what we're doing. We're going to do it with this rifle here. Uh, this has a 14.5-inch uh, barrel on it, chrome line, FN barrel, uh, one of the coolest things ever. Uh, we also, <laughs> I have a, uh, my green laser dot laser out there, as you can see right there on the target camera. Um, anyway, 36 yards, uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And I've got that, uh, laser almost matched up with this thing. But one of the things I also want to do is I want to take that laser out to 300 yards and see how it fares. Uh, we're going to wait till the sun gets behind a cloud. You can really see it really well. Uh, but in any case, what we're doing is I'm going to set this green dot up for 36 yards zero, and we're going to take it over to the long range, and I'm going to section and stage some steel targets uh, out to 300. And we want to uh, do it every 50 yards. So um, I might even go ahead and shoot, put one at 50 yards. Let's see how it fares. I'm shooting 223 today. I'm not shooting 556. Five, uh, <laughs> got to shoot whatever you can get. So we got, I'm going to zero it in at 36 yards. We're going to check the zero. Also, what I want to do is I've got this guy right here. Uh, this is the uh, one of my aero precision upper and lower, but it's got the, uh, what do you call it, the Wilson Combat. This is one of my best competition rifle barrels and it absolutely loves a 77 grain so we're going to I've already actually already zeroed this thing in at 36 yards and uh, we're going to take it out to test it as well with the 77 grain if that makes sense so uh, Sean Ryan uh, elite vigilance I think it is he swears by this thing and guys I'm gonna be honest with you um, I always 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 double check your equipment don't necessarily just take somebody's word for it. Uh, don't take your own word for it. At any time you do an equipment change or a zero change, you need to verify these things at, at all times. A good friend of mine uh, went to one of the biggest competitions in the country, added a piece of equipment to his rifle after he zeroed it in, and guess what? That specific piece of equipment almost ruined his day. So, uh, but anyway, he was able to quickly adjust. So that's what I'm saying is that don't necessarily, necessarily take... Uh, someone's word for it is the best, but test it out yourself. Test it because what may be good for his piece of equipment may not be good for your piece of equipment. So what we'll do, uh, I always use my uh, uh, corrected eye vision wear stuff whenever I'm shooting with a dot because otherwise I, I'm seeing the flares. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shoot at, look at that. I'm going to shoot at the top. dot and let's see well let's put a mag in there I always work better with that in there. might want to put ammo in it also dummy big dummy so I'm shooting right past my camera hopefully we kept the zero in this thing Let's do that. I'm going to shoot with my eyes now. Ah, a lot of fun. Let's get on down there and see how it looks. So one of the things I'm also doing is, uh, before we do a re full blown review on this laser, is I'm trying to make sure that it will indeed hold a zero. Looks good so far. All right, let's go ahead and pop a few rounds through this guy just to make sure that it is still on zero. And then we'll take it over to the long range.
Okay. I'm going to say yes. All right, let's get all this stuff packed up. Get it on over to the long range and uh, set some steel up. This will be a lot of fun. Bought me a new hammer today. <laughs> all right, guys, we're sitting out here at the long range. I've got 10 inch targets set up at 100, 200, and 300. To be perfectly honest with you, I thought about setting them up in the intermediates at the 50 yards or whatever, but <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the real test here today, guys, is to verify that 36 yard zero. And let me uh, preface what this whole thing is, is that with a dot optic, uh, green dot, red dot, whatever, dot, uh, what a great thing that you can go ahead and hit a target within an area of six inches with a 36, uh, a 36 yard zero. Uh, I've heard of it before. A lot of people have told me about it. Uh, I just blew it off. Uh, would I use this for a competition? Well, no, not really, because I've got an optic that's going to have BDC set up in there. But for a typical, just plain red dot, that's it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to aim for the exact center point of each one of those 10-inch pieces of steel. And let's go ahead and see where this thing hits. And again, I'm using 223. I don't give a shit about velocities today. I don't care about anything other than putting that dot in the center of the target and seeing if we're going to get a hit. Here we go, first shot. Let's do it one more time. My glasses are fogging up. That was 100 yards. Let's go ahead and bring this thing up to the 200. Oh, that's almost perfect. Here we go. Be a little high. Again, I'm aiming center point. That's non-magnified. I wish I'd have brought my magnifier with me. That would have been a lot more. Uh, this would be a lot more effective test. Well, let's go ahead and bring it over to the 300. There it is. I don't know where it hit on the steel. I don't care. But what I really like is the fact that uh, this zero works out to 300. Let's do that one more time. All right, bring it down to 200. I, mean, I can't see it from the phone. Let's go 100. We're done with this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, break out the other rifle and uh, see how that does. If y'all are seeing me, uh, just a lot of people have asked about these. These are the MSA Sword and Replacements. These are the SWATCOM Active 8. We're going to be putting a full-blown review out on these guys. They're kind of like the Swordens of yesteryear but by a new design by the Swapcom guys, implementing a couple extras that you're going to like down the road. Same price line, though. Uh, excellent deal. These are also waterproof up to one meter, and we're going to test that out. Let's go ahead and pull that other rifle out. Here we go. Stand by.
Alright, she's shooting high there. Let's see, I, I tell you what, for shits and giggles, because I do have a bunch of these uh, 223 left over, let's test it out. Let's see how close the 223 is on the zero to the, uh, the 77 grain. Hold on. Here's 300. Yeah, a little bit of difference there. Okay, one more time. things you got to do. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and test out the 77 grain and see how well it fares. All right, so what I'm trying to do, I know out the, uh, out the 300, the 223 didn't match on the zero. Let's go ahead and pop it out right here, real careful. Two hundred center point. Three hundred center. Whoa. One more time. I don't know what happened that first time. Hit that bad boy one more time. And she's down. I guess, you know what, if you had a, uh, I don't know how far off that is on 100 yards. I wonder how. We'll see how short it comes up on the 400 yards. I got twins up there. Two mil down. That's it. God, I love those 77 grain. Okay, so out the 300, that 77 grain is absolutely stupid deadly. Uh, 55 grain also, the same thing uh, with a regular zero. So there you go, guys. Always test your equipment. Always validate your zeros. Verify your zeros. If you're going to shoot with a different piece of equipment, then what you have zeroed with, you need to shoot with the full-blown piece of equipment that you're taking into a competition, battle, do whatever. Always verify, verify, verify. Practice, practice, practice. Know your game. Know your, your end game. Make sure that everything matches up. So with that being said, I hope you like this, man. Uh, a lot of you guys are probably laughing because you've, you've been working with a 36-yard zero this whole time. I have not. But I tell you what, in a certain applications and that red dot, I will never touch that again. And if I'd have any further red dots, I'm going to do it with a uh, 36 yard. It would be interesting to see how it does fare with a 12 and a half, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, those shorter barrels and uh, seeing where the zero needed to be. But in any case, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is never free. I am Coda Boy 32 and I am going to go have myself a beer. I am out of here. Y'all be good.